Hello guys. In today's lesson, we are continuing with 3D trigonometry and we're moving to more abstract examples. Abstract meaning we're not going to work with specific angle sizes nor spe specific lengths. We are simply going to work with variables. In this example, we have alpha as the angle BAD and we have theta as the angle BCD. The length of BC and CD is equal to x and the length of AB is equal to h. And then the information given is that BCD is the horizontal plane, meaning the flat surface, and then AB would be would represent a vertical plane. The first question that we need to answer from this diagram is show that BD square is equal to 2x square and in brackets 1 minus cos theta. Now what we need to do uh, before we just dive into it is identify where BD is. And I see that BD is connected to two triangles. What I can see is the vertical plane, this triangle, only has uh, H and an alpha. But the question says show X's and theta. So working with this vertical plane is not going to help us. So therefore we know that we need to use the horizontal plane. Because in the horizontal plane we have X's and theta what we want to use in our proof. Now that I have this information, I see that I have two lengths of x and the angle of theta and that BD is opposite the angle size of theta. Now going back to our grade 11 theory, we know that this fulfills the requirements for the cosine rule. So we can use the cosine rule. So in triangle, B, C, D, we have B, D square is equals to X square plus X square minus 2 times X, X times cos of theta. And now that I have used the cosine rule, I just simplify. So these two are like terms, so that becomes 2X square. That multiplies out to also become 2X square times cos theta. Then 2x squared is a common term in those two terms. So I take out 2x squared, I am factorizing. And then if I take out 2x squared, there's a 1 in the first term replacing or as a placeholder. And then a, the cos theta in the second term. And now I have shown that bd squared is equal to 2x squared and in brackets 1 minus cos theta. The second question says, hence, show that h is equal to um, the statement here. If they say hence, it means that we are going to use as part of the solution the, the statement in the previous question. So let us look at where h is on the graph. H is the vertical plane on the graph, and I can see H is also connected to the angle size of alpha. So the vertical plane on the left doesn't have any alpha or any other angle information, so I'm not going to use this vertical plane. I can use the length, or I can use the information in triangle ABD to solve H. What I know in triangle ABD is that the angle of B is equal to 90 degrees because it's a vertical plane. And also what I know is that the angle D would be 90 degrees minus theta. Because of sum of angles in a triangle. And in the previous question we have worked out the length of BD. 
So using all of that information together, I can use the sine rule to calculate the length of h in terms of alpha, theta, and x. So how the solution would look like when we write it down is we say in triangle ABD, B is equals to 90 degrees. That represents the vertical line of the horizontal plane. Angle D is 90 minus alpha, sum of angles in the triangle. And then we apply the sine rule. Same way we have applied it in the previous lesson. So sine alpha is opposite the length of BD is equals to, uh, this is the angle size of D, so it's sine 90 minus theta is opposite the line AB, which represents H. And then we have sine of 90 opposite the hypotenuse. But we do not need this third solution in order to solve the length of H. So what I'm going to do now is simplify these two ratios. So we have sine of alpha over BD. And when we have sine of 90 degrees minus theta, this is a co-function. So sine of 90 minus alpha becomes cos of alpha. And AB represents the height of the pole or the line that is H. Now if I cross multiply, I see that H times sine X is equal to BD times cos X. What I need to do now to get H alone is I divide the statement on the right with sine X. And we have information for BD out of our first question. BD or BD square was equal to 2X square and in brackets 1 minus cos theta. But now we just need BD. So in order to remove the square, I take the square root of the statement in the first question. And that we have already proven. Therefore, length of h is equals to the square root of 2x squared 1 minus cos theta. That is the length of BD. And we have cos alpha over sine alpha. Therefore, we can say that h is equal to the square root of 2x squared uh, 1 minus cos theta over tan. This becomes tan because tan of alpha is equal to sine over cos. So therefore, if I take the reciprocal function 1 over tan of alpha, it is cos over sine. And in this question, we have cos over sine, which became 1 over tan alpha. That's why we have tan in the denominator.